play, go back. Play, go back. Play, go back. Hey, Power Director peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more of that Power Director love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a DVD that plays one clip and then goes back to the main menu automatically. Now, before I get into that, I want to go ahead and give a quick shout out to one of our subscribers, Ashton Germain. Ashton makes videos on his YouTube channel on vlogging and gaming. All right, so do me a favor, head on over to his channel, check out some of his videos, and guess what? If you're feeling what he's dealing, you need to subscribe to Ashton's channel, all right? And if you are a Power Director subscriber and you want to get a chance to get a shout out, check out the information in the video description below. Now, it's time to get down to business. A lot of people out there have been asking me about how to create DVDs that play one clip and go back to the main menu. Now, it seems pretty easy looking at the software, but there's actually a order of operations that you want to follow to make sure that your DVD comes out correct. So, I'm going to show you how to do that, so let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 15 Ultimate, and I'm about to show you how to get your DVDs right when you want to play one clip and return to the main menu automatically after it's played. But to do this right, you need to use videos that you've already edited and produced, or you need to use clips that you don't need to edit at all. What I recommend that you do is have all of the clips that you're going to use for the DVD um, in the same folder before you get started so they can be easily imported into the disk project. So let's get started. As you can see here, I have a timeline with no videos in it. So from here, what I need to do is click on create disk. Now what we want to do is make this menu how we want it, okay? It's not like a restaurant where you got to deal with their menu, okay? You get to go ahead and bake everything up how you want it by making your menu the way you want it to be. So in order to do that, we need to click on Menu Preferences. Now from here, we want to select the menu that we want to use for our video, and I'm going to select this one here. So I'm going to left-click on it. And now I'm going to click on modify. Now I don't care about this first menu, this root menu, this rooty pooty, rooty poot menu. I'm getting rid of the root menu. Okay. But I'm not going to get rid of it yet, but I'm going to concentrate on the menu that I need to use to play and return to the main menu. And that is the titles chapters menu. That's the one I want to focus on. So I'm going to select that. You see it changed over to that part of the menu structure. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to where it says thumbnails and text. And you can really make this however you want. Uh, I'm going to make it text only to simplify it. If you want to do thumbnails with it, leave it on thumbnails and text. It's fine. I'm going to do text only. So now the next thing I want to do is add buttons. So I want to add buttons because I have to have a button for each one of the clips that I'm going to add. And I'm going to have six video clips that I'm going to use for this menu. So I need six buttons. Right now I have a My Videos button and then I have two of these item buttons. I need to have the same number of item buttons as I have video clips or titles as they're called. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to click on the button and I'm going to drag it to where I want it to be. And now it recognizes that I have two buttons, item one and item two. So I'm going to go up here to the add menu button. And when I click it, it's going to add item three. So I'm going to drag that over to where I want it. If I click on it again, it's going to do item four and so on. All right, so now I have six buttons. I am good to go. So the last thing I want to do on this is I don't want this my videos 
thing up here. If you want it up there, great, leave it up there. It's not gonna work as a button because it's not gonna take you anywhere, but I don't want it. So I'm gonna click on it. And now under the font paragraph section, we have font face and border. I'm just gonna uncheck these. So I'm gonna uncheck font face. And then I'm going to uncheck border. And now what I've done is made the my videos text transparent so no one can see it. So I like it like that. I'm good to go. So next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on OK. So now the next thing I need to do is import the video clips or titles as they're called in this case. So I'm going to click on content and then I'm going to click on import additional videos. So now I can navigate to the location on my computer that has the videos that I want to use and I'm going to click on open. And it will import the six videos. All right, now that it's done, I'm going to go back to menu preferences. Going to select the menu that I want to use, the one that I updated and made specifically for this type of DVD that I'm creating. And now I'm going to click on apply to all pages. So now that that's done, the first thing I want to do is get rid of this rooty poot root menu. So I'm going to uncheck include root menu. And now you can see the titles chapter menu that I created. And you also see that the titles that I imported or the clips that I imported have already been added to this menu with the name of each one of those clips. If you need to change the name of any of these clips, you just click in there and you can change the text. You can do whatever you need to with it, but I'm going to leave it like it is. The next thing you need to do is decide about your music. Do you want to use the background music that's in here? Do you want to add background music? Uh, do you want to just remove it? I'm going to remove the music from this menu. And now the next thing we need to do is go down to playback mode. And we'll click on this playback mode button to select it. So we want to go all the way down to the bottom where it says play the selected title only. And as you can see with these arrows, it'll play the title and then go back to the menu. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to click on OK. And now what we'll do is we'll preview this to make sure that the menu works as we want it to. So when we click on any one of these titles, what should happen is the clip should play and then it should come back to this same menu. So let's give it a try. All right, worked perfectly. Let's try one more. This mood is forward to the end here. Perfecto. So I'm going to go ahead and exit the preview. And now if you're ready to burn a disc, you can go ahead and burn it in 2D by clicking on this button here. If you want to do a different type of disc, you can select them from the tabs above and go from there. All right, Power Director peeps, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. 
If you want to get a shout out for your YouTube channel and you are a subscriber to Power Director University, make sure you go to the comment section, click on the link to go to the shout out request form. Also, if you want to make a tutorial request, I do not take tutorial requests in the comments. You have to go to the video description and click on the tutorial request form. And if you are a subscriber to Power Director, I will go ahead and consider the tutorial request that you make. Now, I got some other things you need to do for me. The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it. Hug the thumb, all right? It lets other people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. Now, the last thing you gotta do is smash that subscribe button. And then after you smash it, click on the bell. What that does is it provides you notifications every time I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.